All right, everybody, welcome to the stream. We are uh, about to head into our Hearthstone match. Uh, we do have a special treat for you tonight. I will have some guest commentary with me for the Valorant match, but not for Hearthstone. Hearthstone, you're you're uh, you're stuck with me. So, uh, unfortunately, that is just the way that it is. So we will be hopping in just uh, momentarily. I'm reaching out to Anthony now. He's waiting to be added to uh, the randolph Macon uh, friends list, and then they will be uh, ready to go. But we are uh, sitting at 1-1 one and one right now in the Hearthstone National Championship through NACE. Uh, so that's exciting. We took a loss, uh, I believe, Shawnee State uh, to week one. Uh, Anthony, he lost 0-3. Uh, oh it's a, it's a uh, first, first to win three matches. I right, lost 0-3 oh that first week. Super close. I know 0-3 oh doesn't sound very close, uh, but it was, really, I promise. Um, just some really bad RNG, really bad luck uh, with that. But uh, last week uh, versus uh, Midland, um, he absolutely... Uh, dumpstered uh, them. I, I hate to say that, not to, to trash on them, but it was a it was a shellacking uh, for sure. So it was awesome for him to bounce back like that and and put on you know kind of a Hearthstone clinic there, if you will. So it was really cool to have him bounce back there and bring his record up to one and one. Uh, I had a, a spoke with him shortly after that and he mentioned that he believes he has to go at least six and two in order to get out of the group stage so so we're well on our way there um i, I talked to him about tonight they are doing their bands right now they both banned paladin so we are getting into uh that match now so i'm gonna switch over uh to the our end game there and we're gonna take a look at uh what we have so let's make sure that i get my game capture working here hear the Hearthstone jam go in there. Let's get and we are we are going. So we do have some bands coming through. He he did ban uh, Paladin, uh, as well as um, Randolph Macon also banned his Paladin. He was telling me about his Paladin deck earlier, uh, so I was really excited to be able to see that. But I do know that he has a Rogue deck that he's going to be playing tonight and i'm super stoked for that uh back when i played hearthstone i played a lot a lot of rogue so i know what rogue does uh some of the other classes i, I didn't particularly uh care for they just didn't they didn't jive well with me uh but this is uh this is exciting for sure we're gonna make sure that we can gonna quit out I'm gonna go back in and we're gonna make sure that we can spectate him here says they're preparing to go into game one now come on in we just started the pet so be sure to uh, give us some hill yes in the chat still says he's preparing to battle a friend so we're just waiting on that to come across while I let you jam out to some Hearthstone music there. Mr. Blade in the chat wants to know if there are any coaching jobs open. Sure. If you wanna if you wanna intern. <laughs> Alright, we are we are going. We are loading in right now. Super stoked for this. This is going to be great. For Anthony here. All right. So we've got Rogue versus Druid. So it looks like uh, Randolph Macon is busting out the Rogue first. And Anthony's pulling out his Druid. I think he's he's been working on this Druid. He's had it. Uh, and we haven't necessarily seen it uh, very much. We saw it. I believe we saw the same Druid last week when he played... Uh, against Midland. So for anybody unaware, this is the first to three. So both players uh, traded decks with each other. Uh, their deck list that was uh, simultaneous. 
Um, so they couldn't, you know, prep or do any, any any funny business there. But they both submitted four decks to each other. And then each of them uh, bans a deck. Then the players have to win a game with each of their three remaining decks. So the first player to win with their three remaining decks is it, you know is declared the winner. So if a uh, if a player loses with a particular deck, they do get to use that deck. Um, again until they do win with it so uh we see this rogue we're gonna see what what randolph macon's rogue is all about before we see uh, anthony's rogue so we do have, have some face damage coming through breaking out the self-sharpening sword uh so we're gonna have that attack be ramping up every time he attacks here so we'll see i don't believe anthony has any weapon removal in this deck so that's going to be pretty interesting uh, to see how he deals with it, especially if this, if the deck here from Randolph Macon is actually bringing in a lot of decks or, or a lot of weapons. But we do have some, some of the uh, hero power here from the Druid, uh, be able to stack up some armor so that could withstand a lot of the, this kind of onslaught of face damage that he could be taking until he gets some, some minions and maybe some taunts down on the board. Looks like we have uh, a lot of spells here. Anthony is nothing but spells right now. So that is very uh, unfortunate. We do have a spell summon here, so we can bring in two. He does have some life steal. There's another summon. So he might be all right. Home in the shadow. Layer the stealth minion in. The stealth minion cannot be attacked by the opponent. Um, can't be targeted, rather. It can take damage from AoE spells or any abilities that are thrown out like that, but it can't be targeted until it attacks first. So it's kind of laying in wait in the shadows. So you'll notice that um, Randolph Macon did not use it to attack face because it would have hmm. uh, brought it out of the shadows. So Anthony now sitting on... Uh, a lot of cards right now. Burning in, adding an additional mana crystals there to end up playing a five cost card here, flooding the board here with glow flies. So 14 damage sitting on the board right now, but Rogue does have, uh, so it's, there's the backstab ability. And watch for the Rogue to combo here with uh, maybe another card on top of backstab, which is a very useful, that zero cost card and Rogue usually carries a lot of combo cards in the deck. So we'll see uh, how this plays out. Hmm. As the music gets menacing. So we do see Randolph Macon trying to clear out some of those glow flies. It's going to be a problem, but we see the rope going up, going across. So taking some time to think about this, but it looks like they're going to get everything out in time. So this is going to force out some of those stealth minions off the board. So Anthony packing another glow fly swarm here. So we have all of these spells in his hand. That glow fly swarm is just going to overwhelm. So a great play there, buffing up the glow fly, and considering going face here, he can attack the stealth minion. He's got to kind of weigh these options here. Is it worth? He's going to bring the Dreamway Guardians, get us some lifesteal, try to heal up a little bit, or at least throw some more minions on the board, try to overwhelm this rogue who doesn't have a lot of consistent board clear. Uh, there is the Fan of Knives, which only does uh, one damage to every minion, but at least it, it did back when I played. <laughs> uh, and there are some spell buffs he could bring in if this were a spell rogue. To, to up that damage to all the minions. But other than that, a lot of single target clear for the rogue. 
May I have this dance? So this seems to be um, Three a great option here for Anthony bringing in this druid against the rogue. Although it was completely random that or, or unknown, oh, didn't know what the what the other one had, what was bringing in. It just so happened this drew it into the rogue. So, uh, but the rogue's doing a really good job laying down a lot of minions to to threaten. Arcane Fletcher. Whenever you play a one cost minion, uh, draw a spell from your deck. So, and should see how many spells this rogue actually has. Randolph making taking a chance here, getting rid of those lifesteal minions. Yes, it, it does heal Anthony a little bit, but if he could buff up those lifesteal minions, they could end up doing uh, quite a bit of work and healing Anthony back up. So he did just draw, uh, draw the bees card. Uh, so a, a lot more of these small uh, minions. And now we're bringing in the uh, attack twice card. So he's gonna buff up all these minions. There are no taunts on the board and he's just gonna outright win game one here. Great job. There's that turn, uh, turn five, turn six. So that is game one going the way of Spring Hill. The Druid into the Rogue. So now Randolph Macon can bring out that Rogue again. And Anthony's got to move on to uh, his Rogue. Or he's probably bringing, he's probably packing his Warlock deck as well. So get a hill yeah in the chat there. Here, I'll start it off. That was a great game one. So we're gonna sit here, wait for this game two to start. waiting for the second game to start up now. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, sitting about six viewers right now, supporting uh, the Spring Hill Badgers. We do have Valorant coming up here at 8 o'clock. Unless for unless the series goes long. Alright, so here we do have the Warlock coming out. Will be the end of you. Your soul shall be mine. Curious to know if he changed up his Warlock deck a little bit. I don't remember seeing Thanos in the previous uh, plays of this deck, but uh, maybe it just didn't come out. Alright, we'll keep an eye here on the Defiler here. You charge. <laughs> you charge. We're going to uh, completely masquer the pronunciation of that. We'll be all right. I've heard about this deck. Yeah, he's running a zoo warlock. This is not his control warlock. Uh, I believe. Let me double check. Okay, I take that back. So his ramp paladin did get banned. Um, so we were, we were, I was looking forward to the ramp paladin, uh, but unfortunately that's not going to be out there. So this may be his, uh, control warlock deck that he's showing here. Did three damage to a minion. Uh, All in due time. Destroy a random enemy minion. It looks like it. So slow start here to game number two. Come in, 
coming. Everyone's a winner. So we got some secret cards coming out now. So uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with Hearthstone, uh, secret is a mechanic that they added in uh, that is basically the opponent knows what what the uh, qualifications are to in order in order to make this secret come out and, and there are different ones uh, anytime uh, there's the secret so it must have been destroy a minion or cast a spell there it is after your opponent casts a spell summon a random four cost uh, minion there so uh, that is those are secret decks are very annoying at least they were for me I was not a big fan of them playing into them because it's hard to uh, kind of predict what they would have. Now, there are only so many secret cards uh, in the game, uh, especially oh. for each particular class. But every time you see a secret come out, it kind of puts you, there's a, there's a second secret. It's very difficult to know what you, what you should do, uh, and it could keep you from performing an action that you would normally perform because you're afraid of, of causing uh, you know, the secret to trigger. So uh, feel confident in throwing out the acidic swamp ooze, even though uh, he's not going to get the battle cry out of it. Uh, there's no there's no weapon uh, in, in the mage decks that I'm aware of. So just dropping another minion on the board. I intend to deceive. here throwing out the envoy rustwicks shuffling those prime legendary minions into the deck so uh look for him to cycle through here to try to get uh, a lot of card draw to maybe bring those out and turn the tide of this all in due time Uh, contemplating going on here. My cargo, my business. Ah, works against me. So now we can see more of the. Yeah, it's definitely a secret deck. So now we have the the trigger here after a secret is played. Uh, discover a spell. So you can see this mage kind of flood their hand with spells. The more secrets they play. Yeah, this is Anthony's uh, Control Warlock deck from previous weeks with the Soul Fragments. So throwing uh, Envoy out here, there's a Death Rattle on him, so I missed that earlier. So we have a Taunt, so the same card, the, the Cartoon Defender is going to be born. So there's another secret coming out. Drawing three cards. So when this minion dies, he does come back. He resurrects with one health the first time he dies. So there's going to break the... There we go. We do have some life steal, so that's going to help him out a little bit. Restore three health, rather, uh, on the death rattle. Just looking at the health count, you can kind of get an idea and, and feel All like time. things aren't or things are looking pretty bleak. Uh, but a lot can happen in Hearthstone. The, the big swing we have and bringing things uh, in favor. Warlock typically has a lot of board clear. All right, so there's our three prime legendaries going into the deck. So look for uh, dropping this. Maybe get some more uh, soul fragments thrown in there to heal up. He 
He does. He is still sitting on the cascading disaster, but then you're also running that risk of is that going to be a secret trigger? There's another one. Okay, that's not bad because he doesn't get the effects of the battle cry. He does throw. Oh, uh, they got a counter spell. That is very unfortunate. Uh, he does. He is sitting on another cascading disaster though. I'm going to bring in the forfeit. There's enough damage on the enemy's side. He's not going to survive that one. Alright, so we have, uh, Anthony still has his rogue deck, he also has, still has his, uh, warlock available, and the opponent still has their rogue as well. So, we've got rogue and mage, and warlock and rogue left. So we're going to see what happens. It is now sitting at one and one. So a great matchup uh, so far. We got Mr. Blade subscribing at tier one. Thank you, Mr. Blade, for the subscription and dropping a hill yeah in the chat. Your souls shall be mine. All right, let's see what we got here. Also getting a uh, thank you for uh, Mr. Blade for hosting Spring Hill. We also had some a follow from Troll Drool. Appreciate that. And Maddie Cow has followed as well. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting the Badgers and spread the word. Let everybody know we have an esports program here and and kids can come here for and compete. Which bring you know, kids that, you know, really want to go to college and you know, maybe the, the academic thing is is has been tough for them. Uh, they can get a scholarship for esports as well to come here and commit to the program and and learn how to or just or just be a part of this community here and we work with them with uh, graphic design and video editing and uh, streaming uh, there's a lot they can do um, while they pursue their degree so that's something that uh, I take a lot of pride into being able to help them out with that all right so moving on here we are looking at a warlock into warlock so uh, this is, I believe, the Zoo Warlock into the Control Warlock. This is a... Should be an interesting matchup here. There is so much untapped power in this world. The power is close at hand. Got some really bad draws, so definitely the early game was uh, was tough for him in that previous matchup with the ro the warlock into the mage, uh, but now it seems to be a little bit better, a better start for sure. He definitely didn't get didn't get the draws he was looking for, and uh, the board clear didn't come through like he had hoped. Old school warlock uh, card there, the Void Walker, one of the originals. Since demons as well, I remember that one. Yeah, if you're just joining us, we are sitting at one and one. Anthony did pick up game one against Randolph Macon, and now uh, Randolph Macon picked up game number two. So one and one. Anthony won with his Druid deck, which means he cannot play with that one anymore tonight. Randolph Macon won with their Mage deck, which cannot be played again tonight. So Anthony is still packing his Warlock and his Rogue. We haven't seen the Rogue yet. 
and we have seen the extent of Randolph Macon's decks for with the Rogue, Mage, and the Warlock. This is the last deck that we uh, hadn't really encountered yet. As we see uh, some of these big cards coming out here for Anthony. Just sitting on them. So he's got a lot of power, uh, but those are some heavy cost cards. So he does drop the coin. Looks like he's going to throw in Envoy Rustwicks. Again, that Death Rattle shuffling in three of those random Prime Legendaries into his deck. So he's already sitting on two uh, right now. So we'll see what happens. And he can get some more and really flood the board with a lot of power. But there are likely going to be a lot of low cost minions over here in the Warlock deck. So you can also flood the... Yeah, there's the tour guide. So, uh, one cost here, two cost, one, two. So really flooding the deck, or flooding the board, rather, with a lot of these low-cost minions, trying to overwhelm the opponent. But he's also running out of cards, so we're looking to maybe see some card draw come out of the Randolph-Macon Warlock. Let's see what some of these... After your hero takes damage, refresh a mana crystal. Okay. So playing that, or having one of those cards on there, then using the life tap brings back some mana crystals. So we see the interaction there with those those minions and the warlock hero power. Going face right now. And we rope down. So we do have a soul fragment come through. The school spirits could deal two damage to all minions, which would only really take out the tour guide, unfortunately. So he is getting some board clear come through. The Alex Straza might be a good play here. I wonder. If he can get enough damage on the board and then lower the health to 15. Dark Skies is still available, dealing one damage to a random minion. And then repeating based on how many cards in there. So he does drop the Cascading Disaster, which is going to take about three different minions, right? Destroy two random minions, rather. Uh, and then Corrupt Destroy three. So he does take out two of those minions, so a little bit of board clear coming through for him. He does still have... He has two School Spirits now. So he can bring more of those Soul Fragments into the deck to try to, you know, when he draws those, heal them up. everybody stick around after Hearthstone. We've got some Valorant action coming up against the University of North Alabama and we'll have a special guest commentator with us for that. Someone much more knowledgeable about the game than I am. Big swing here. Some soul fragments going into the deck here, so a lot of damage coming through there. Anthony not getting, I don't know if he's getting the draws that he's wanting here. Gonna drop his school spirits, which is gonna help clear this deck a little bit. If he throws his other one out, it will completely clear the board. Well, he does. More soul fragments in, so that's gonna give kind of a reset here. And that's going to be the end of his turn. So that does buy him some more time. Uh, he also has the Alex Straza uh, that he can use to set his own health back up to 15. So if he gets too low, uh, looking here, kind of read into that. Using the life tap to draw another card. Uh, maybe uh, they're missing some of the cards that they're looking for right now. Or wanting to play that Flesh Giant. Some more healing coming in from the Soul Fragments just in time. We do have a Taunt back on there. That's a heavy cost though. 
So Randolph Macon's sitting with lethal right now on the board. So he's going to throw the taunt out, it looks like. Try to weather the storm that's that's coming here with a lot of this with the damage sitting there. And that's going to be all he's going to be able to play and just try to survive one more round. He, he doesn't have enough to play Alex Straza. So it is looking more like play this to set his health back up if he can survive long enough because the, the enemy's health is already kind of getting to that 15 health mark there we have that synergy coming through refreshing the mana so he can keep playing So their hand is, well, it was empty, but he's going to draw a few cards here. So really good healing there. And that is going to, uh, it's going to be close. Let's see what else he's got. that out just in time so a lot of damage sitting on the enemy side to see if these any of these soul fragments and we have the twisting nether come in just in time wiping out the deck that was absolutely insane so we do see the Canrithad Prime come through, so more <laughs> the Zoo Warlock adding more and more of these low cost minions to the board. He is only sitting with nine cards left in his deck. So I'm curious. Let's see. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If it would, uh, he may surely he's considering the Alex Straza here to give him enough health. I wonder. Uh, the other thing uh, to look at too is the Ticketus removing the top five cards from the opponent's deck. Uh, the deck is already running really low. Which again, that's one of the great things about uh, Zoo Warlock, is just really overwhelming your opponent with all these low-cost minions mm. and putting them all out there, flooding the board. Um, and so you can so quickly and easily play all those cards, but uh, you do thin your deck out pretty fast. So he's going to life tap here to try to get some draw and play Dark Sky. So we'll see what happens. Doesn't look like RNG was in his favor. You so that's going to be game three going the way of Randolph Macon. All right, so now it is one to two right now. Spring Hill sitting, winning game one. Randolph Macon winning games two and three. So now Randolph Macon has to win with their rogue deck as their last one. They cannot play with any of their other decks. They must play with the rogue. And Anthony's left with his rogue and his warlock. And so really he gets to, he gets to take his pick now. So 
So it looks like we're going to get the Warlock again. Third game in a row with the Warlock. He wants this Warlock win. Uh, if he pulls this off here, we're going to have Rogue versus Rogue for game number six. So we do know uh, we have some stealth minions coming out of Randolph Maker's Rogue deck. And we know what to expect out of Anthony's Warlock. So this is a control Warlock deck. wonder if this Rogue has some weapon buffs in the deck. Anthony does know everything that's in the, the Rogue deck. They Again, they trade their deck list together. So... Uh, I do not have all of that handy uh, to display on screen, but he is uh, he is kind of being mindful and, and watching that and see what uh, could possibly come out of the hands of Randolph Macon, which is different than what you would expect from or what you what you can expect playing uh, Hearthstone on your own. You know, kind of solo queue is you're, you're going into those matches. You don't really know what the opponent has. You know what class they're playing, but that's about it. Randolph Macon again on the on the cusp of pushing this and, and winning here. They just need to win with this rogue deck. So expect them to be taking their time. They definitely don't want this to go to a game six. Or game five rather. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the Twisting Nether will destroy stealth minions, by the way, but it's also going to take out his own minions on his own side of the board, so... It is something he'll we'll kind of want to say if it's a last resort, or if he maybe puts a lot of death rattle minions on the board, he can throw that out there. I believe that's one of the original Warlock cards in Hearthstone. We have the Dark Skies out. So we saw earlier he played that after he life tap in order to add another card to his hand and then drop the Dark Skies to uh, hopefully RNG would be in his favor. But uh, RNG has not been in Anthony's favor since we've started the Hearthstone National Championship. Uh, I've had some, some rough outcomes here. So here's the Eviscerate, and he did not combo the Eviscerate, so that is a, a really one of the, one of the cool uh, elements of the Rogue deck is comboing your cards. So if you play a card after another card and it's got that combo effect, it will do an additional, have some additional action onto it. Some Soul Fragments coming in, bringing us some much needed uh, healing for the future, I'm sure. Alright, so we have the tin cost come out. The 
it's going to be a while before we can play it. If it goes all the way to late game, uh, he could drop this and then add all the corrupted cards that he's played. So here's the corrupt. Corrupt. Shades of Pirate Road coming out. We do have the Soul Shear he could use to take out one of the Taunt cards here, but he also is sitting on the Twisting Nether. And the Rogue re running really low here, only sitting on one card. So, looking at playing the Hysteria here. Interesting. So, he's going to see what happens. I'm sure he's hoping these would have... Would <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. So, there we go. Now we can play the Soul Shear. Clear the board. Get some more other Soul Fragments in there. So, now he does have a little bit of a Reprieve. Rogue. Drawing some more cards here with the cutting class. And those were reduced by a cost of five because of the, the damage on the on the knife here. So we'll see if he got a good draw. Maybe some expensive cards coming through. Nope. <laughs> uh, that was unfortunate. He drew a one cost card. That's <laughs> sure that surely that was not the draw he was looking for. Hmm. All right. Another soul fragment, more healing come out. We do have the cascading disaster, the card we're familiar with, destroying a random enemy, enemy minion, which this one it would actually take out the Worgen Infiltrator, but that's not a threatening card right now, uh, seeing it only two and one. It's going to go ahead and play it. And he's going to pass his turn and just kind of clear the board. Feeling. Yeah, there's really no other uh, minions to play. He could throw the strong man out there. Uh, he could have mana. He could have coined into the strong man. He may be saving the coin here uh, for his ten cost card once he hits to nine nine mana. Looks like we're going face, which is going to break the knife. So he's going to re-equip. Drop another Worgen Infiltrator. Okay, and we have another, we have a Soul Shear here. But he's not able to use that to target the Worgen Infiltrator, so he's got to throw another Cascading Disaster out in order to clear the board. And he's going to pass his turn, sitting on all of these cards. We'll see what the Rogue does, see what the Rogue has to, if he's going to buff up this weapon again, or if uh, Anthony's just going to kind of bleed him out here with card draw. Uh, we are sitting at one to two. Anthony's at, uh, he won game one, Randolph making one games two and three. Anthony's yet to pull out his rogue deck. He told me he was gonna be packing a rogue tonight. I got all excited and he hasn't played it yet. Really nothing else <laughs> for the rogue to spin on, so he uh, throws his hero power out again. Already had the dagger equipped. I'm 
just remind everybody we are on a five minute delay i know that's uh kind of miserable but it is one of the uh a stipulation for being able to stream is having to put the stream on a delay to prevent any funny business so i do apologize for that so the chat's gonna lag behind what you hear when i respond Krastinov comes through. Okay, so use that to clear the taunt minion out. Does buff his weapon back up. Uh, Anthony down, now down to nine. But we're getting low on cards over here on the rogue side. 20 cards in the deck. Anthony's had some really good draw, so a lot of these are going to be soul fragments. Rogue burning through mana. Uh, and that's the battle cry wasn't able to be utilized, so we're just getting a minion on the deck, or on the, on the board. So the soul shear comes out, two more soul fragments going in. We have the taunt coming through, so he's not going to take face damage here from the rogue. And when this is destroyed, it does heal Anthony too. So he's got he's got some options here. He's not you're looking at the the health disparity. It's looking, looking like a lot, but he does have some things coming his way. There's some health that's going to be reborn. Another taunt, a new death rattle. He's going to use the eviscerate. The secret passage. Replace your hand with four cards from your deck. Swap back next turn. So he's got seven mana, so he's looking to hopefully uh, draw something he can use here. This is the only chance he has to use these cards. Anthony does have, uh, he is hitting his 10 cost. So they're throwing out uh, these minions here and he does not get the other two cards to use. So those are gonna go back into his deck. And now we have an empty hand here for Randolph Macon. So we have the Dark Skies coming through, uh, potentially. There is a Death Rattle here on the Sneaky Delinquent. The Dark Skies does come through, so that's going to clear the board. Gives the Rogue one card. Life Tap for a draw. He did not draw Soul Fragments, but he's going to throw the Sense Demons out, draw some more Demons out. Feeling confident that Rogue doesn't have Lethal in hand. Should still be sitting on a few soul fragments in here as well to draw out. We got the legendary ninja in chat cheering on Anthony. Have some face damage here. Going to drop Anthony down to nine. The knife's going to go away. He's going to re-equip it. But it's now only going to have one damage on it. So nine health, an empty hand over here for the rogue. But he does have two stealth minions on there. School Spirits is going to come through. Wipe the board. Wipe out Thalnos as well. But he also has that death rally he's going to draw. There's a soul fragment coming through. Another soul fragment. He's going to heal back up. Looks like this is the swing he was looking for. Just gonna attack face here. Yeah. Okay, so here we have 
uh, Alex Straza in here, he could potentially play that, drop the rogue's health to 15. I believe. And now we have a big swing here. Now the, the rogue's going to be down to 10 health. And we have a taunt on the board, which is going to keep the rogue from being able to attack face. So he is dropped down to 10 health. He only had one attack on his weapon there, so those cards aren't going to be reduced by a whole lot. And again, the rogue does not have consistent, dependable board clear. Maybe an eviscerate here, a backstab. Okay, drop to two. And if he has an eviscerate, he could take out the taunt minion. He may have already played both of his eviscerates already. So he's just kind of, he's, he's drawing now. Uh, Anthony does have lethal on board. What makes something real? So two random minions, neither one of them were taunt. Which is what he was looking for, and it did not come through. And there we have a surrender for Randolph Macon. Anthony now up two to two. We are heading into game number five. This is going to be for all of it. All right, we have Rogue v. Rogue coming up for game five. So we're going to stall our Valorant match for just a little bit. So we're checking in with North Alabama, seeing if they, if we can uh, stall the start time of our match with them, so that we can uh, bring you finish bringing you the rest of this action as well as uh, our Valorant matchup as well. All right. Again, if you're just joining us and you may be tuning in for Valorant, but we are sitting at two and two in week number three of the Hearthstone National Championship. Overall, Anthony's at one and one. Uh, that's his record. Uh, falling short to Shawnee State and then beating Midland University last week. A good bounce back. And now uh, here against Randolph Macon. Uh, he told me he was going to be playing this rogue deck, and I am unfamiliar with some of these uh, newer cards here, the Prize Plunder. I'm very familiar with Backstab. Backstab's a great uh, board uh, minion clear card. Also, it's great for setting up combos because of the zero cost. So we already know what to expect out of uh, this other rogue deck. They're going to be playing a lot of stealth minions, which uh, the Backstab isn't going to effect so he cannot target those stealth minions with backstab so anthony just playing his dagger gonna hit face here just to draw some damage out kind of whittle away at this rogue who doesn't have any health uh regen no life seal uh, no healing in the deck the co the coin does come out so it's going to give them kind of a, a jump kind of even out this as they drop down at that self-sharpening sword which i don't believe we saw come out uh last match May have still been sitting in the deck. So that weapon is going to get stronger and stronger with each attack that the rogue takes. So we have some combo cards coming out here. So the Foxy Fraud, that, that's a new card. I'm unfamiliar with that one. Your next combo card this turn costs two less. So uh, that's a great card in conjunction. So in place of the Backstab, you can play the Foxy Fraud and then uh, play a combo card for two cheaper. I see some face damage coming out here. Surely the... the and off make it rose gonna be looking to strengthen up that sword. Sing like you're 
it's uh, definitely a lot of strategy, uh, Erebo, there in chat. It's, um, there are a, a lot of general cards that can be used by any class, uh, but then you also have the class specific cards that can be played or that can be added to a deck and your deck can only consist of so many cards, I believe 30. Um, so there is kind of that pick and choose, you know, what am I gonna bring uh, with my deck? And there's a lot of play and counterplay. Uh, some other games very familiar, or, or you may be, um, <laughs> uh, Magic the Gathering, uh, Legends of Runeterra, there are several other card games out there very similar. Just Gwent uh, is another one. And they all kind of have their different mechanics uh, that you can use. <laughs> have some, uh... Care to make a wager, friend? Yeah, it's, uh, we are, that deal has been finalized. We see that in chat. All right, so we have some combo cards coming out here. Uh, this rogue deck is extremely aggro, but Anthony's coming in. He's he's holding in there. He's got a lot of these low cost cards he can play. Try to clear out. He does need to get rid of this taunt minion. Right, so the freeze with the brain freeze not only does it freeze it uh the, the combo is going to deal three damage uh freeze c keeps this minion from attacking on its turn so he has some options here he could backstab into eviscerate onto the truth seeker Yeah, there we go. So the backstab can only be used on a full health, on a full health minion. Well played, cleared the board. So this uh, weapon here getting very strong over here on the Randolph Macon Rogue. So the Steel Dancer comes out, which brings in the Judicious Junior, and that was random. That's completely RNG. He does bring in some life still, which is extremely unfortunate. He's got the taunt. So here's an example for those of you unfamiliar with uh, Hearthstone. This is another one. This is one of those general cards, uh, basically. So he had this card in his Warlock deck as well. Whereas these um, are more uh, rogue-specific cards here. Uh, and you can tell by the outline that the outside of the card is black with kind of the gold fringe around uh, the... Uh, the art of it, whereas this one doesn't have that. So this is more of a from the general deck. So I have some damage coming through. Uh, looks like 6, 10, so we have 13 damage 
sitting on the side of the Randolph Macon, but we do have the Taunt minion in, and the Death Rattle will restore three health. So really, this is restoring six health. You can kind of imagine it that way. We have some life steal on the Randolph Macon side. Uh, this will take out. It's going to get reborn. He's got to take it out again. Or attack it again. Let's see what he brings out now. Uh, with that health only one, it's going to be very easy to destroy it and remove it from the board. He's going to use an Eviscerate on it. It's not going to get full value out of the card. A lot of damage there. We'll see what he does. The weapon does go away. He's now down to two cards. We do still have some life steal over here. He throws out another self-sharpening sword. And he's going to empty his hand. Give a minion two attack. Going to boost that up. Five damage. So now... We do have preparation. So that's going to bring in a combo. Two random five cost minions. He does not get a taunt out of it. But he can throw the prize plunderer here. So he's just going to kind of get rid of some of these cards. And that is going to leave three damage on the weapon, but five on the stealth minion. That is going to be it. There's nothing he can do. He's going to go ahead and surrender that. And that's going to be a loss for Spring Hill. Two to three. So be sure to uh, show Anthony some love in the chat there. He did take an unfortunate loss uh, there to Randolph Macon. It was really super close. And he told me coming into it, uh, they've got some really strong decks. Uh, but he, he hung in there. And it turned out uh, Wells definitely uh, a close, close game. So that is going to do it for Hearthstone. So we're getting geared up and ready right now for Valorant. So you're gonna, we're gonna take a brief break. We're gonna go to our reel while we get set up with our guest commentator and get everything squared away. Get me in as an observer, and then we're gonna be streaming some Valorant here. So uh, stick around. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 